last Sunday on the occasion of the Celestine Pardon, Pope Francis paid an apostolic visit to L'Aquila, the capital of Italy's Abruzzo region. Cari fratelli e sorelle, buongiorno, buona domenica. It was a brief visit, which took place over the course of a single morning. As his first appointment, the Pope addressed a brief greeting to local citizens in the cathedral square, expressing his closeness and solidarity to the relatives of the victims of the earthquake of 2009 that took more than 300 lives. I thank all of you for your witness of faith. Even amidst pain and confusion, which is a part of our faith as pilgrims. You fixed your eyes on Christ, crucified and risen, who with his love has redeemed the nonsense of suffering and death. Right after his address, the pontiff wished to visit the Cathedral of St. Maximus, the so-called Duomo dell'Aquila, still unable to be used because of the terrible earthquake. Accompanied by the Metropolitan Archbishop of L'Aquila, Cardinal Giuseppe Petrocchi, and with the help of some firefighters, Pope Francis visited the cathedral still visibly damaged by the natural disaster. Then Pope Francis went to the Basilica of Santa Maria of Colemaggio, where the relics of Celestine V are kept. He was pontiff in 1294 for only several months before he resigned from the Petrine ministry. It was precisely Celestine V who wished to build the Basilica of Santa Maria of Colemaggio and the Holy Door, anticipating in this way by about six years the institution of the Jubilee with the emanation of the so-called Bull of Forgiveness. Following the Eucharistic celebration and the prayer of the Angelus, Pope Francis opened the Holy Door for the Celestine Pardon. Before returning to the Vatican, Pope Francis stopped to pray before the tomb of Celestine V, defined by the Pope himself as a courageous witness to the Gospel. 